What's up everybody? In this tutorial I'll guide you on how to fix textures in Carmageddon Max Damage. This fix is for AMD graphics card like RX 7900 XTX but also should work for handheld devices like ROG Ally. Firstly we will demonstrate the graphic glitches by running an unmodified game. To fix the issue, we will replace the native DX11 libraries with Vulkan ones using DXVK GPL Async. This is a fork of DXVK project with Async Enable that significantly improved performance on AMD cards. To download the latest build of DXVK GPL Async, please visit GitLab page, link down in below, and create a free GitLab account if you don't have one. Once you sign in, click on Artifacts to find the latest build and download it to your computer. Next, navigate to Game Location. I show you the default Steam location on the screen and unpack the files from the x32 folder. You will need two files, DXGI DLL and D3D11.dll. After that, download and edit dxvk.com file from link below and add two lines at the bottom to enable async. Once you save the file, you are ready to start the game. In the game settings, go to visual section and if you are using an adaptive sync monitor, disable vsync. Then adjust car reflection quality and shadow quality to the lowest position, as these settings affect the performance and heavily tax even the most powerful PC. It's also best to adjust the rest of the settings according to your system specification. After applying those changes, you should notice a significant improvement in the game performance, although some texture popping and missing light sources may still occur. This method makes the game fully playable from the start to the finish. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you around.